the the police have every reason holy shit i just got done with a like a dick measuring contest with an old man dude what do you mean um i been following the mayor for the past two hours uh -huh. and um like okay so you probably heard about the secret meeting that was in palito um yesterday uh i heard something was going on in palito but i didn't know about yeah. the meeting um yeah so it was like some se okay so i'm gonna be honest like i'm glad i heard okay so my understanding is as follows and this is coming from max is that so they had a secret meeting they were afraid of getting shot up that that's why they had their console meeting there it wasn't secret that's what ursula claimed but the thing is ursula was brought was allowed into previous meetings but then uh -huh. due to max believing she may have had something to do with the shooting he she pretty much got fired so okay. um they had their meeting yesterday it was made out to potentially be more than what it was whether that's true or not i don't know uh i didn't know this i still don't know whether i believe it or not but today while i was driving around i ran into max and he was like dressed up like an oxy grinder like you uh -huh. know and so i was like that's weird so i decided to follow him and him and the rest of the console were like dressed up like they were about to rob a bank for the first time and okay. uh i eventually found him at may's bank there's some guy that was with them the new treasurer um they said his name was like greg or something i don't know i jokingly said like what's his state id because like who the fuck is greg right yeah um and um so I can they meeting ended, you know, I revealed myself because I think it funny as fuck. Make them think that I was there the entire time. But I was only there uh -huh. the last two minutes. Um, I then went to Mission Road to continue filming. I noticed Shaban was there. So I started mm -hmm. recording and I started pressing them saying, you know, they're running a fascist government and uh, a bunch of other things. Ultimately, this led to Max claiming they weren't fascist. Shaban claiming, despite me having evidence otherwise, that she was coaching the prosecutor throughout the entire trial. Um, and ultimately, Max claiming that he's going to sue me for defamation after pressing me what the definition of fascism is, even though it's very clear. I don't think he understands. You can explain that in a sentence, right? Um, mm hmm or that defamation would mean I'm publicly saying shit about him despite the fact he's a police officer and I can tell him to eat my dick and it doesn't really make a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh... I want to clap back at him and file a civil lawsuit like today and get him okay. summoned to court. Okay. Yeah. So... How's your day going so far? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, you've know, been busy, but yeah. what... So, as far as a civil lawsuit, is it like a countersuit to his defamation um, I actually, suit? I or? want to... Actually, I got something better. I want to get a FOIA request on Siobhan's phone number. Entire phone record. Because she's a government employee... And she's operating under the umbrella of the police department. And therefore, her phone, which is being used for public interest, should be released. Oh. It happens in America, so I can't, like, you know, we should try doing it here. That if they are in the government, their, their you know, it, their shit should be open They're to... They're public servants. Exactly. So... Huh. Now, oh, I don't know. Now she will I, she will fight you on that one. Well, I'm not the lawyer, you know, I just come up with the ideas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now I don't necessarily think it's gonna work. Um but you know, I want to 
I, I think there's a lot of things to open the groundwork for. And even if we're not successful on some of these things, I think it's worth like seeing what happens, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I think that that, I think that's actually very interesting. And I think it could open the door for potentially like other avenues if that yep. wasn't, it, it, it would be interesting, right? Because if, if you're, you know, if you're able to successfully subpoena somebody's phone records as a public servant, then that opens the door to anybody that's considered a public servant, you know? Yeah. And I think it goes into like the measure of accountability and, you yeah. know, it's, it's that whole kind of premise of, well, if you have nothing to hide, what are, why are you hiding? Exactly. You know? And we, the argument no, can it's... also be made that the police have the ability, whether they choose to or not, to have a private phone and a public phone. In the past, it may not have been the case, right? So they could lean no, on. But, but it now, is now. They, yeah. now they can. So um, now there's another angle I was thinking is in order to make it easier, by the way, I don't know exactly. I'm just kind of like going with what I've seen on YouTube. So like, I don't know uh -huh. how much of this is possible, but um, the other angle would be instead of that could be what come the case afterwards, but maybe before that, Mr. K via Mr. K, we could probably go after Siobhan first, specifically on the dates of the court case and subpoena that because my understanding is from, I'm under I, I have under good authority that she was coaching the prosecutor over test message now on recording she st that even Murphy I don't know he was glazing the entire time is that she wasn't answering the question at first they're like oh but mm -hmm. would that be illegal because I kept asking like were you coaching him? And she was like, they kept deflecting, deflecting, deflecting. But eventually they were waiting to see if Murphy thought it would be legal or illegal for her to coach. And he said, well, was she a witness? But these bozos forgot that she was a witness the moment she is putting her statements into the report that went on the docket, you know? So. And did she put... At the time that all that happened, when she was a witness, I know that she, she's like deputized or whatever, right? Like I've seen her, seen her around with like yeah. the the police um, vest and stuff like that. But uh, what I, what I wonder is, which is why it's really confusing why her and Max were both like, was she a witness? I'm like. You guys do realize, as a victim, you are the you are the witness. You're, like I don't understand. Yeah, like, but like, how would they the, have the, the case if they weren't the witnesses? Would they? But like, how the, would they the, have had the case? <laughs> the don't. Policy for PD is that, like, if you are a witness, um, you should not be prosecuting like crimes made against you. Um, yeah, you cannot, you cannot prosecute that like without bias um, because like you were the victim um, yeah. so yeah I mean it, unless she's acting as a prosecutor um, she should not be she should not be like coaching or anything and in fact in a way she's kind of like witness tampering herself y yeah it's it's very strange um, I mean, there's a bunch of other things that don't really make any sense. I mean, I'm not even going to open up the, like, the the whole thing with Max telling Bones to go and detain people, and he did it immediately under the guise of, well, anyone can just be like, you know, go do something, and then it's up to the cop to do it. But, you know what I mean? There's kind of like, I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of oddities that's happening that doesn't, like, pass the smell test. But it, yeah. it's so many little things 
that instead of packaging it all, going after the, you know, the little technicalities might be a good move, you know? And then slowly that can build up to, pro like, like you said, the police probably can't do some things like they're not supposed to, but I think the police don't actually know why they're supposed to, which is why they keep stepping the line, you know? So they gotta yeah. be bitched into place by getting sued. No, I, I, I definitely think you're right. And I think, um, I, one thing that like I've seen other, I've seen lawyers do that I think harms them is that they, okay. So like, let's say you have like a bunch of little things, right? Like yeah. a bunch of little, uh, infractions from police officers or violations from police officers. They try to go for all of it you know and then it just yeah. kind of becomes a little jumbled and a little messy and then the judge gets annoyed because it kind of feels you know like like they're just going for anything and hoping something sticks um but i think maybe having like a clear focus for these and just kind of knocking them out one at a time yeah you know and being like concise about it i think that's kind of the best route you know yeah you have I um like, like for Siobhan, for instance, you know, uh, the issue with her coaching. I mean, inherently, is it illegal or not? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure right now. But yeah. I think it is, it is good to kind of... Uh, the thing is, is that what you kind of have to understand is that there may not be any kind of ramifications like, you know nobody might get like fined or in trouble for things but what these kind of pushing this kind of thing does is it kind of gives them that oh shit moment of i can't do this again i got away with it once uh but i'm being called out for it now probably yeah. shouldn't do that again yeah and, i agree absolutely and so there may not always be like a clear kind of yeah. win or loss in it. And I think some people expect that, but ultimately these kind of things are about accountability and about kind of keeping uh, the police department sort of on their toes and like kind of forcing them to do their job when they don't want to, which is crazy. True. You know, that's it's why like I like doing cell reps because and just like kind of prodding them about their articulation. Like it shouldn't take me asking how did they recklessly evade and them having to literally get four officers Dude, she's gonna make a into good the cells before telling me we can't articulate it, so we're just gonna drop it down to evade it. Like that's crazy. Yo, Wangi, thank you for the three months. Yeah, I I'm I think we're on the same page is that even win or lose the even the fact that it's being brought up and it would be brought up in court is going to make them like think twice you know um yeah i mean it's 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 just like it's it's and i think holding people also accountable at the top is important because it all like it trickles down from the top right yeah like if you know if the head of the snake is sick the rest of the snake's gonna be sick right yeah um so i yeah i mean if if you want to go for something against siobhan and you know we can we can definitely do that's, that uh, i'll need to look more into it absolutely Kay's gonna be back probably monday but okay. I, I think that's like probably a really good angle to pull is that we just need some like bit of like, I think just a Sybil suit and she'd be forced to give her the records for that during the trial. And yeah. Well, if during the trial, it turns out that she was actively, you know, pushing the prosecutor, regardless of how that trial goes. Right. You know charger you know say whatever right like up here, like you know whatever yeah, the I mean, thing is then you take that we... and then you open you say look siobhan did it here we need to actually make all the government employee uh get their stuff away because 
they might be talking about stuff that's like relevant or like in public interest yeah. you know what i mean and like um i think what as far as siobhan goes we just need to word it in a way that it pushes the burden of proof onto her like she has yeah. to prove that she didn't do this uh and she would only be able to prove that by giving her phone records yes hell yeah dude so we can figure that out um so this is at the trial at the trial um yeah i'm even wondering maybe i'm overcooking right now but if she was actively coaching the prosecutor and as the victim like i mean she's she's like it, she's conflicted out and like that's again why like police officers don't prosecute when they're the victim because it could be you know we go back to that malicious prosecution thing yes uh, and that's the thing that i think for some reason i think siobhan i think max knows what he's doing but siobhan's like you know actually it was really funny uh, when i was pressing them I genuinely think Max Max wanted to challenge me on the word fascism. I don't think he actually understood what it was, but I think he knows what he's doing and Siobhan will not like has is on copium that her husband's not doing these things, but what they, I don't think seem to grasp is that as the main victims they've made themselves the authority that presses charges on people and they're you know it, it's a very odd thing and i feel like I, I where i'm cooking with all this is if all these little things are tackled i'm even wondering if the entire court case can be appealed because if there was like um... let's say sussy baka during the trial he, he possibly i mean it, it would be con it would kind of, yeah it kind of be considered like a mistrial um if like there was some kind of corruption found during it it would either have to be retrialed um with uh new prosecutors um possibly i i mean i know it's a bit it, of a it, long it, shot but i'm kind of it, like if um thinking. if you can if we can prove that she was coaching uh, and can prove that it was malicious in some way, it would probably have to be retrialed because it would be, um, yeah, it, it would, it, it would probably, yeah, I, I would think. I, yeah. I would be surprised otherwise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, F it. We, we can try. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Kay, uh, Monday and see if we can go down this route. I think it'd be interesting as hell, to be honest. Be yeah. I mean, it would definitely open up the scope for a lot of things. If, um, if like siobhan's phone records are yeah are subpoenaed if it is found that like she is you know using it for government work it kind of opens up that question of well shouldn't this be something that you know all public servants do yeah one thousand percent just get a work phone if that's the case i easy max did bring up during the thing that Mickey failed explaining, you know, why is the victim the one pressing the charge? I actually think they did a pretty bad job highlighting why that was, which is why the judge ignored it. That's my opinion. Like, unfortunately, you know what? I'm not really a lawyer. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. But yeah. let me go Hold talk on. to Mr. Wait, K pause. and let me know. Uh, I'm down to okay. give it a shot at least. Okay. And yeah, we'll we'll just go from there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kit. Thank uh, you. I appreciate the call. Anytime. You take care. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.